of undefeated Southpaws for the WBA Lightweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the world of famous MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's prime time! Introducing to you first the challenger on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing lavender trunks, training in Dallas, Texas, and hailing from Detroit, Michigan. He weighed in at 134 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 18 wins, no losses. 12 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making his first attempt at the world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated all action world rank contender. Introducing Frank, the Ghost Martin. And his opponent across the ring. The defending world champion fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with multicolored trim, hailing from Baltimore, Maryland. He weighed in at his trim and ready 133 and one half pounds. He is also undefeated in his tremendous campaign in the ring with a record of 29 wins, no losses, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the young star of boxing and popular pound for pound great. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hard hitting and renowned five time three weight division world champion and the current undefeated reigning and defending WBA lightweight champion of the world, introducing Gervonta Once again, a referee in charge, Harvey Doc, now to give instructions. Okay, boxers, you received your instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Good luck. Harvey Doc will be the referee for our main event, scheduled for 12 rounds for Javante Davis's 135-pound belt. It's a battle of undefeated fighters as. Davis returns after a career-long 14-month layoff. He says he returns a changed man, more focused on his family, more focused on his career, and now focused on Frank the Ghost Martin. The bell and round one, and Davis having a little fun with the whole ghost nickname. A part of the Ghostbusters theme is team has t-shirts with who you gonna call well martin says he's gonna spook the entire division and put it on notice by recording the upset here tonight yeah and if you're martin you definitely want to start putting those rounds together early on we know that uh, davis is a slow starter but then we, we we've been talking about moral you and i that yep. uh, perhaps for, the, and for this fight in it's particular davis it's not a slow start, start it's deliberate start it's strategic yeah. patience and for frank martin of course Here's a guy who has some of the best footwork you will ever see, Joe, who's good at using the jab, the counter. It's an amazing athlete, was an all-state wrestler, a football player, came to the sport of boxing relatively late, but had a standout career and now working under the tutelage of Derek James. He is primed here tonight. I'm a to big fan of Frank Martin's as well as, you know, Tank Davis, who isn't. But Frank Martin is an exceptional athlete, and he could pose a lot of problems tonight. You want to stick and move with those combinations, known for great counter-punching as well. And for Davis, of course, it's all about low output, high accuracy, and just a savant when it comes to processing information. And in watching tape, we, we talk about how he's able to exploit repetitive processes by his opponents. We saw what he did in what he called the best knockout of his career as he took advantage of Leo Santa Cruz going to the well once too often with the right hand and eating a left uppercut for the 2020 knockout of the year. But here, very much typical of a Gervonta Tank Davis fight on his back foot just seeing what Martin has to offer. Martin trying to establish the jab and again, both of them are self -pause. Absolutely. And Martin's a really good one just like Tank. And so far, he's the only one who's been landing so far with jabs. Yeah, yeah. There's a jab from Tank. But Martin's been landing the left hand of the body and a straight left hand. He's uh, ahead in this round so far. Martin averages about 48 punches around. 
Under a minute left here in the first. High guard of Tank Davis. Very smart pressure. Yeah, both and fighters really alert right now. Hands were low and then explosive. The way that he's able to pull that trigger. His, his punch delivery system, second to none. But Martin putting the pressure on Davis. Sticking out that lead hand. You yeah, saw how nice Martin nice got out left. of that corner when he got trapped in the corner oh, by Tank. his footwork is amazing. He got under and around yes. and ended up picking Tank up on his shoulders. There's the one-two from the southpaw trying to split the high guard of Tank Davis. Under 20 seconds left in the opening round. Nice, beautiful triple jab right there by, by Martin. Continue to circle him. And then and with Martin, you just don't know when he's going to throw, especially that left hand. He's so quick with it. Got a good body shot by Frank Martin. So... As expected, Martin taking the opening hey. round and landing 11 punches compared to three for Davis, and we've seen Davis.